The Bills are able to get a pretty decent win, 20 to 17, keep their playoff hopes alive and really try to try to go out and win, especially with the Dolphins falling to the Titans last night. Uh try to win that AFC East once again. Mahomes was infuriated over an offensive offsides by Kadarius Tony. We're going to show the play now uh where Mahomes it was a beautifully I don't know if this was drawn or not. Throws it to Travis Kelsey, who tries to make a play on it, realizes he can't get to the end zone, and flips it to Kadarius Toney, who runs it in for the touchdown. However, there was a flag on the play because of the fact that Kadarius Toney was blocking the ball. He was ahead of the ball and was offside. Mahomes was very upset about it. Uh, post-game, he was, he was saying that you can't take a play like that away making excuses, and then he actually retracted his statement today and apologized for it. Uh, there's a lot going on. I want to know, do you think that, first of all, I'm going to ask, did they make the right call? Do you agree with the call? Do you think the Chiefs should be upset about it? And is it time to hit the panic button right now in Kansas City? Uh, unfortunately, I do think the refs made the right call. I love the play, man. What a play. That was a fabulous play. I mean, Travis Kelsey... Uh, you know, catching the ball and uh, he was open, catching the ball, running and seeing that he was going to be tackled, throwing it to, to to Tony like that. Do you think it was set up that way, that that was a plan? I don't think so. Uh, I think that was ad lib when he, after he caught it, there was no plan to throw it to Tony. But look, it's fantastic. Perfect throw. Runs right in for a touchdown, right? Fabulous play. I was amazed by it. And, and given that it was, uh, uh, you know, late in the game, they needed that that score. Uh, wasn't much time left. It was really a clutch play. I guess if anybody, is, they should be mad at anybody. It's Kadarius Tony. What the hell is he doing? It was the right call. He was offsides. His foot was over the line. Can't it, don't doesn't he know better than that? Come on. I uh, he. he, he I got to believe they were very upset with him for making that kind of mistake. That is uh, something that that's a fundamental thing. You don't line up off sides, right? Well, they benched yeah. him after that. He yeah. just stayed on the sideline the rest of the time. Yeah. Do you think that they have a right to be frustrated? Do you think Mahomes has a right to lash out like that at the referee? Because no. I, I, I think, I don't know what you thought, but when he was screaming, I thought it was directed to Tony. Oh, uh, no. And, I then the, I, and, and then the broadcast goes, he's yelling at the ref. Yeah, well, he was looking out onto the field when he was yelling, so I was pretty sure it didn't have anything to do with Tony, but that's who he should have been yelling at. Absolutely. <laughs> but you can't sh I, I, it, It's a respect that you can't show up your teammate like that uh, on well, the field. It's after wrong. the game, in the after, locker room. Yeah, man, right, they, yeah, in the locker room. But this is, I, I, I don't. I don't love this look for Mahomes, right? Because even in adversity, we saw last week, or I'm sorry, the week before, if we're talking that this is last week already, the week before against the Packers, the obvious defensive pass interference that wasn't called. Mahomes was like, all right, let's run it back, let's go. He could have done the same thing. But because this is a play that basically never gets called in the NFL, you never hear offensive offsides. You never hear it. And then to go like, and then to go up to Josh Allen in the handshake and say, you know, Offensive offsides. What is that? Like, come on. And he also apologized, said that Josh Allen had nothing to do with it. So, but he, he let his emotions get the best of him. I've never seen Mahomes like that. <clears throat> and it, it shows that he's fed up. Well, he's getting frustrated because his wide receivers have letting him down on a right. regular basis. Right. Regular basis. We've talked about this on prior shows that the, the main weakness of the Chiefs are the wide receivers. Right. They drop the balls. They make stupid mental mistakes. Uh, they uh, they just are not there for him. I and mean, given some of the receivers he's had in the past, you know, and how successful he's been with them, I can see why he's upset and frustrated. But here's where I think Mahomes. Sep I, I think this 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 year because he had Juju Lash, who was a veteran receiver, had over a thousand yards last season. Was a re and by the way, uh, he was the he was the receiver who got held by Bradbury in the Super Bowl. You don't hear him complaining about how the refs decided that game, right? It only it only he only keeps his mouth shut. It seems like when it favors him. Now last week, that was obvious. Now, I'll give him that. He kept his mouth shut with that. I'll give him that to not call out the refs. But at some point, right? I understand and I fully get it, and I agree with it. Mahomes is is one of the best quarterbacks. 
that we've seen and probably the best one we've seen since Brady. Right? He's the next Tom Brady, basically. He's the face of the league. This game is a lot different than Brady's, but yeah, right, yeah. Right. the same talent. Same caliber, I would caliber. say. The, the, the dominance the over the league. too. I mean, he's quite smart. He, he makes the right, right calls, and he throws his accuracy on the run. is very, very oh, good. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. What I'm thinking now, and, and I know people will disagree with me, this year would be an example of how he separates himself and puts himself into a caliber of unquestionable, untouchable, great quarterbacks. Because what Brady did over his career, right? And that, that's the comparison everyone gives. It's the next Tom Brady. Because he has been so dominant. Brady took guys that other no team wanted, no one heard of, or undrafted players, and made them champions. This would be a type of a year where Mahomes would be a part of that. He would be right there with Brady to take team, to take players like Kadarius Toney, like Rasheed Rice, like uh, Sky Moore, like Marquez Valdez-Scanling, and take them into a deep playoff run. I don't feel... I, I, I don't know if a lot of people would agree with me. I don't feel that way with this team. No, I don't now. They've been losing games. They've lost four of their last six. It's bad. It really is bad. And I think it is time to hit the panic button right now. Because of, I'm, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, the surging Broncos. The Broncos are like one game behind the Chiefs right now. And at the, I, I have the schedule, I have the Chiefs schedule right now. The next game's at Patriots. The Patriots defense is, is, has been incredible so far. If the Patriots beat the Chiefs, that would be something, huh? I think. I, I, given their season this year. And their ups and downs, and with Bailey Zappi now as their starting quarterback, uh, that will be a surprise, I think, if, if uh, the Chiefs beat the Patriots. But it'll be an interesting game, I think. I think there are two definite wins and and two <coughs> interesting games. The Patriots and, and I think Bengals will be interesting. Jake Browning, I don't understand how the hell he's throwing for 350 yards a game. He got hurt, he's right? Uh, In the game. I thought I, he, got, he got hurt in that game, right? I, yeah, yeah. They they put it, I had to put in AJ McCarron, but I think he's going to be fine. Uh, I think the two definite wins are the Raiders and the Chargers. Easton Stick is not going to beat Patrick Mahomes, even if you know the Chiefs are sliding. I think the Patriots only with the defense. The offense, I still don't like. I don't want them to be good because I want to get a new quarterback. Yeah. And then Jake Browning shocks me. He genuinely. We talked about it. We thought the Bengals were done. Yeah, well, Jake Browning's keeping them alive. Well, you know what? Jake Browning may not be that great, but he's got great he's got great pieces around him. Right, like, Jamar Chase, Chase against Chase Tyler Boyd. And, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I say the Chiefs, uh, they should win out, right? They should they win should. out with that with that Especially schedule, especially with that quarterback. That's right, and Joe Burrow out, right? They should win out. If they don't, I, I'd say there's a pretty good chance they don't win out. And if they don't, I think the, there's the panic button is there because they could miss the playoffs. I don't know about missing the missing the playoffs would be shocking. Although they the won state, eight games, right? Right. So if they lose out, so let's, be, let's they, look at the schedule again. Sure. So the Patriots won last week, so yeah. you know maybe there's and Bailey Zappi threw three touchdowns. They threw three touchdowns. <laughs> they didn't do squat in the second half. Right. So and the Chiefs have. Probably, uh, you know, their defense is pretty good. So I'd say probably the Chiefs win that game. Okay. Yeah. I think the, the Chiefs win the uh, the Raiders game. Raiders, yeah. Right? The Bengals game they should win because Joe Burrow is not in there. And uh, Browning is, uh, you know, he, nobody is uh, the sample size on him is very small. And then the Chargers, Justin Herbert's done for the year. So I, I would say they should win out. If they win out, they're all set. Now maybe five. maybe they could win. Uh, maybe they could lose to the Patriots. Maybe they could lose to the Bengals. So if they go two and two, then they'll be ten and uh, seven. seven. And the record of the so who do the what the Broncos remaining schedule? So the Broncos right now are seven and six. Their remaining schedule so far is at Lions. The Lions are slipping. Yep. Home against the Patriots. That should be interesting to watch. Home against the Chargers at Raiders. So I think those last two they games should are win wins. Out. They should. You think at Lions that they're going to lose? The Lions lost. I, big I'm, to I'm the gonna, Bears. You know what? I'm not picking the Lions anymore. You're done with them. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know what their schedule is. I mean, if they're playing, uh, 
uh, you know, I don't know if they were playing one of the southeastern teams there, or the Panthers, or the Falcons, no. or the Not Box, a or the Saints. I might pick them, but uh, other than that, I'd probably pick against them because uh, I don't trust them, and yeah. I've said that repeatedly. And every time I pick them, I get burned. Yeah. Well, they're they're home against the Broncos <laughs> at Vikings at Cowboys home against the Vikings. So two Vikings and Josh Dobbs got benched today. Uh, Nick Mullins will be the quarterback moving forward. Uh, at Cowboys is probably a loss now. Yeah. Uh, Bronco, I don't know. It should be interesting, but I got to give credit to the Bills here. Josh Allen was really good. I, I think Josh Allen was very, very good. And the defense of the Chiefs, I mentioned it uh, in the show. Uh, early in the show, uh, what was it uh, last Friday? I said... That this defense, while the total defense is high, the grades that PFF gave are pretty low. They show some weaknesses. Lo and behold, Josh Allen was wheeling and dealing on this defense early. Scoring early, scoring big. Mahomes had a bad tipped interception early in the game. The Bills went down and scored. So, I really feel like this Bills team could be getting back on track. And not only that... Josh Allen was under pressure for 47% of his snaps. Yeah. The offensive line couldn't hold up, and he was still making plays. Mm -hmm. There was one play that I didn't like. It was late in the game. It's the reason they kicked the field goal. I don't know if you remember it. Is that he got pressured. He tried to dump it off. Gabe Davis was about a half second away from breaking free and getting another touchdown. They showed it very, very briefly, but he got pressured. He needed to, to look to his check down. Yeah. Instead of keeping his eyes downfield, maybe maybe taking yeah. a hit, but trying to deliver a that throw. That was a big win for the Bills. That's Massive. for sure, right? Beating the Chiefs. I do think the Chiefs are going to make the playoffs. I, 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 I do as well. I, and I, and maybe it is uh, premature to push the panic. Maybe they push the panic button about where their seating is going to be. Right. They, they keep dropping in the seating. They could play. Yeah, if Mahomes they can, can win play out. His first road playoff if game. If they can win out, then they're all set. And they should be able to win out. They should. Because yeah. they have Mahomes at quarterback. I mean, they Kelsey won the Super Bowl out. last year. Right. And uh, their problem is the wide receivers. I, right. That's, I think that's uh, the whole uh, deal. And those guys, what, I don't know what their problem is. They can't hang on to the ball. They make stupid mental errors. Yeah. And it's obviously getting to Mahomes, you could see. He, he, the frustration boiled over in Sunday's game. He did apologize for it, so that's good for him and uh, appreciated by the fans and the refs and everybody else. But uh, <laughs> oh, I can understand care. why he got frustrated. I mean, it's it's really an unfortunate loss. That was such a great play, man. It, it was, was a phenomenal a fantastic play. Fantastic play. It's phenomenal. I mean, that would be, if that wasn't for that penalty, that would be one of the highlight plays of the year. That probably would be the play yeah. of the year. But I'll, 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 there's one thing that bothers me about what Mahomes said in his post-game conference. He said, you can't take away that play from that type of player. That, that doesn't make sense. Uh, come on. It's the if NFL. It, if it's a penalty, it's obvious. you got to call it. Right. You can't say that, uh, that, that that means what do they do? They go back to review and say, well, I mean, this isn't even close Travis though. Kelsey is going to be an all, uh, going to be a isn't hall close. of famer. So let's forget the, right. the offside penalty on Kadarius Tony. Right. That, that makes no sense. And another thing is normally wide receivers, if they're close, they would check over to the, the ref and be like, thumbs up. And then the ref would say, okay, you're good. Or back up. Kadarius Tony never did. Andy Reid said that himself. He looked at what happened and said, Kadarius Tony never checked to the ref whether or not he was good or not. I mean, it isn't even close. It really isn't they even close. They say sometimes the refs tell them that they are that they right, they have right. a problem. But but he, why would the refs do that? I mean, that I wouldn't courtesy. I don't think they should do that. Courtesy. I I don't have a problem with that, but but the fact that Kadarius Tony's not the wide out receiver. If he was right next to the ref and he was over, I'm sure the ref would say something. But Kadarius Tony didn't even check. He didn't even look. Am I good? Nothing like that. He just he just stared to the right and said, "Okay, snap the ball." Oh, I'm there was a ref out to the right, looking right down the line. Yeah, there. but you're not going to check over at 75 percent of the field just to get a thumbs up. Normally, you do it to the side you're closest to, but yeah. he's not cl really close to the ref. So that's on Kadarius Tony. He did make a good play, ready for the ready for the ball. That's and Andy Reid was asked that in, in the post game. Was that a scripted play? And what he, did he, say? he didn't answer it because he was frustrated. Oh, he didn't answer. He didn't it? answer it. So the question is, will we see that again later on? Maybe, maybe not. But. uh very know. nice play. It was unfortunate that that it got you know, it got taken back. But to like that, that's the one thing that that's probably the main thing that bothered me. Mahomes saying you can't take a play away from that guy, from that Hall of Fame tight end. This is the NFL. 
that it doesn't matter what kind of player you are or what your career has been. Yeah, you might get a call here or there in favor of you if it's you know a wide receiver. They may get a couple pass interference calls that maybe they don't deserve, but they have a reputation. But to say that you're just not going to throw a flag because of the fact that Travis Kelsey's on the field, and by the way, that flag was thrown before the play even was developing. So it could have been the it could have been the worst play in history. It was just so happened that that was the outcome that that soured Mahomes' grapes, I think. So, uh, yeah, uh, the Chiefs not looking too good right now. Uh, obviously, we'll have to wait and see if they could bounce back. It's going to be a pretty difficult ride, though, going up against a Patriots defense that currently, at this current moment, is eighth in total defense. And they try to get the run game going with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. I don't know if Pacheco will be back. The Patriots do have uh, the third-best rushing defense in the NFL. So it'll be up to Mahomes to sling it around. Will J.C. Jackson and Miles Bryant get cooked? I'm sure we'll talk about it Friday. Probably. Uh, <laughs> uh, and one thing, the Patriots are not very good against the mobile quarterback. Yeah. They've had a lot of trouble uh, uh, against the mobile quarterback. Have they ever beaten Mahomes? Yeah, well, uh, yeah the AFC Championship game, 2018. Well, that, I mean, that was way back. And, I mean, uh, since yeah, yeah, have yeah. they even played him since then? Or is that well, the last since, time? It's since Brady left now. Yeah. They so so this is the first time? Well, I don't know if it's the first time they played, but it's the first time. Or they haven't beaten him, I should say. Since Brady left, Brady, Brady beat him in a regular season game. They had the, I forgot who, someone stepped out of bounds. I don't know if you remember that game. It may have been Nikhil Harry. Or I think it was Jacoby Myers. He, they called him out of bounds and he scored, but he didn't actually step out of bounds, but they called him out of bounds. I think they lost 23 to 16. I remember that game. Yeah, we yeah. were watching that game. So I think that was, that might have been one of the last times they played, but, you know, recent memory, I'm not entirely sure. But no, since Brady left, the Patriots have not been able to. To beat the Kansas City Chiefs, will Zappy be able to do it? We'll talk about well, it. I'll be watching. I've watched every game. It's been painful, but <laughs> it's uh, for most of them, and it's been a very hard season for yeah. our Patriots fans. But when I'm a dedicated Patriots fan, so I will be watching. Hi, everybody! Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, if you want to check out the full episode, make sure you click the I in the top right hand corner right now. If you want to listen to this show anywhere you go, make sure you go to anchor.fm slash the Harvey Hour or anywhere you get your podcasts.